The Foucault's pendulum apparatus is often cited as evidence of Earth's rotation, but this is an incorrect claim because it is riddled with confirmation bias, for the three reasons that will be mentioned in this video. The Foucault's pendulum has numerous problems with it that rule it out as a reliable apparatus. Firstly, the swinging weight of a Foucault's pendulum is made out of lead, wrapped in brass. Although not magnetic, both lead and brass can interact with magnetic fields, and this fact is documented on scientific websites like Terp Connect. As most people are aware, there is a magnetic field in the north that all compasses align to, which has slight variations to the strength of the magnetism at varying latitudes, which explains why a Foucault's pendulum would precess at varying amounts depending on the latitude when it has materials contained within the apparatus that can interact with magnetism. The claim that the magnetic north is not moving, therefore it doesn't affect the metal in the pendulum, is an erroneous assertion because the end weight on the pendulum is moving within the magnetism, which is giving the same effect as the magnet in the north moving. This procession actually follows the magnetism in that pendulum's precess less at the equator than they would at say 30 degrees north. That's because at 30 degrees north the pendulum is situated more than 2,000 miles closer to the magnetic north than it would be at the equator. It is not really a shock in this case, that pendulums behave according to the magnetism they are being influenced by. More magnetism means more precession, exactly as exhibited by the pendulum. The precession of a Foucault's pendulum is not taking place because of Earth rotating. The Earth is actually not rotating and nothing proves it is doing. Pendulums certainly don't prove it for the reasons being explained here. Any claims that pendulums are telling us Earth is rotating are just claims wrought with confirmation bias, that ignore magnetism and the other points here, which brings me to the second point. Secondly, in engineering, it is a well-known fact that such a thing as perfect engineering does not exist. This is why a cheap set of snooker balls might cost $50 while a far more expensive and slightly more spherical set might cost 10 times that amount. Is there such a thing as perfect snooker balls? Of course not, because we do not possess the perfect engineering that would be required to create anything that is literally perfect. No such thing exists. Even if the Foucault's pendulum apparatus were not ruled out by the magnetism problem mentioned already, it would be ruled out by this point about flaws in the apparatus, because in not having perfect engineering you are always going to inherently have flaws at the pivot point of the pendulum. This means any pendulum will precess unreliably, it cannot be reliable enough. It would only need to be off an extremely tiny amount, a hair or a bit of dust in the pivot point, or even just an area with slightly more or slightly less friction, would be enough to have the other end which is 30 feet away, giving unreliable results. Imagine holding a torch and shining it on a wall 30 feet away. If you angle the torch to the right only 5 mm in your hand, the light on the wall moves a lot more than 5 mm. It is the same principle with the pendulum and how its pivot point cannot possibly be perfect, which is a requirement for it to be 100% reliable. This is all assuming there's no magnetism affecting anything when it has been established that magnetism is also there and the metals in the pendulum can interact with magnetism, as mentioned previously. Thirdly and this is the best point of all, if the entire apparatus of the Foucault's pendulum is all rotating around with the earth where the pendulum, and the ceiling it is attached to, and the walls that ceiling is attached to, and the ground the walls are attached to are all moving in unison, there is no reason for a pendulum in that situation to be oscillating or precessing, in such a scenario on a rotating earth, with the whole apparatus being part of the earth. In this case, the pendulum should actually not be precessing, but we do see precession from these things. We see precession because of the magnetic effects on the metals used along with the pendulum having unavoidable flaws at the pivot point. These three main points are the reason precessing pendulums are not a proof of the earth rotating. It is a fairy story. Any measurements taken from these apparatus are related to varying magnetism at varying latitudes and flaws with the apparatus that are unavoidable because we can't create a perfect apparatus, to then make the claim that it is as reliable as people often try to pretend it is.
When it comes to why people believe pendulums are telling them the Earth rotates, they have no answers to any of the three points raised here and never can have, since all three claims are based in reality. The people deliberately trolling are making their role in these discussions obvious. It is to hide the fact that the Earth is not moving at over Mach 1 at the equator, while they need to claim this to carry on with all the other assumptions they have about Earth's curvature, and gravity having a force to it, when it does not. Heliocentrism doesn't work. Perfectly sound reasoning has been shown here with three reasons why the apparatus is not reliable, and precesses for other reasons, along with the problem that the pendulum's weight or bob as it is called, shouldn't even be precessing in the claim setup anyway, because the whole apparatus would be moving in unison with the Earth, if the Earth were moving. Earth is not moving and nothing proves that it is. We are not moving at all, apart from whatever slight movements there are with plate tectonics, which is obviously not the movement being talked about here when we are told the Earth is rotating at over 1000 miles per hour at the equator and also orbiting the Sun at 66,600 miles per hour. If these movements were really happening, we would have a rate of acceleration at the equator, on average over 12 hours, of 20.6 mm per second per second, since orbit plus rotation at 12 am is not the same speed overall, as orbit minus rotation at 12 pm, there is a 2,075 miles per hour difference between the two times which breaks down to the figure just mentioned of 20.6 millimeters per second per second. These speed changes need to be there if the Earth is moving in the claimed way. It's no use citing the Advo's effect, because the required speed changes are such that any human or animal could feel themselves being moved at an accelerative or decelerative rate. Pendulums don't prove it, gyroscopes don't prove it and the celestial bodies moving in the sky certainly don't prove it because that isn't even monitoring the land of the earth for movement, 